This is a video response to one of my videos that I posted back in uh, May 2010. Uh, this video has about 28,000 views right now and uh, it does get a lot of comments but uh, basically the video starts off this is uh, on an overpass I'm following uh, right behind a bus and the uh, <coughs> excuse me the uh, turbo fails and uh, Long story short, you know, the bus driver thinks the bus is on fire. He evacuates all the passengers off the bus, and then once everybody's off, he shuts the bus off. You know, he does another turbo failed. He thinks the bus is on fire. So, uh, you can see in the video that, uh, you know, the people are getting off and moving around. Uh, the wind is blowing the smoke to the front of the bus. So, that's why everybody's coming to the back because they're they're going downstream from the wind, okay. Uh, you can see everybody in the video coming back, walking, running. I mean, they're not. Uh, I mean, if the bus was on fire, you know, you think they'd uh, be in a bigger hurry, but they're not. But uh, so uh, there's one person running, and then uh, that should be everybody off the bus and right now somebody gives me a hand signal to uh, come forward that it's, it's safe to go so uh, I pass the bus and right about here the bus driver shuts the engine off alright so the engine is shut off and I'm just uh, going extremely slow honking the horn so in case somebody does step off the bus you know they can uh, they'll see my headlights and they hear my horn and then right here uh, I have a point and shoot camera that's sitting on my dash, so when I break, it falls over. So it looks like I hit the overpass, but uh, in reality, I did not hit the overpass. So you know, we're gonna scroll down here, and uh, I have a description right here of what exactly happened, and uh, anybody you know can read it and see you know what happened. But uh, some of these comments I get are just so outrageous. I, I, I just had to make a video on this, so let me scroll down here. Okay, one person at the bottom, let's see who this is here. It's uh, Cassandros2008. It says, the engine started in reverse, dumbass. He does shut it off, but it is sucking oil into the turbocharger. Excuse me, that was a response to Cassandros... I can't read this. Cassandros2008. Anyways, the person that wrote that was Chew Gamer PS3. So I came on and I responded, and I said, uh, "You stupid cunt! The engine does not start in reverse. Read the fucking description." And he says, "You fucking dumb. You're, excuse me. You're fucking dumb. The guy who posted this doesn't know what happened. You misinformed jackass. The engine started in reverse, and it's sucking oil, and there's no way to shut it off. You know nothing about engines. Well." The person that posted this is me. I posted this. I was behind the bus when the turbo gave out, and I was there. So, how this true gaming PS3 clown can actually come on here and say, Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm misinformed. You know, I'm not misinformed. The turbo was replaced the next day, and it was on the road again, and picking up people and doing, doing its thing. So, anyways, his whole comment absolutely makes no sense at all. So let's just dissect it here. He says that the uh, the engine started started in reverse and is sucking in oil. How is the engine going to start in reverse? I mean, did the starter spin backward? No. H how is the starter going to spin backwards? You know. Secondly, this is a this is an electronic engine, so it's not going to happen. You know, the transmission is also an automatic. Now, back in the uh, older days when you had the uh, two-stroke Detroits and you had, let's say, a manual transmission, it was possible, from what I read, that the engine could actually rotate backwards. For example, if you're going up a hill and you stall out, and let's say that you start to roll backwards and you go to start it, or let's say you dump the clutch, there is a possibility that the engine could rotate backwards and run backwards. And when that happens, you will actually have smoke and everything else coming out of your intake, not your exhaust. If your engine is running backwards, you know, uh, smoke would be coming at your exhaust and it would be sucking in air from your from your muffler. So when you watch this video, you can see for yourself 
Go back and replay it here. This is the intake right here at the top. This is the exhaust right here. So if, if this bus was running backwards, smoke would be coming out of the intake and there would not be smoke coming out of the exhaust. And uh, all the smoke you see right here, it's basically unburned fuel because the turbo is not there anymore. The turbo has catastrophically failed. I'm assuming the housing split or shattered. You can see all the oil dripping down from the turbo. Now, this bus right here, it was parked and it just picked up people. So the exhaust is not extremely hot yet, but sometimes when the turbo fails, the oil will actually hit the exhaust and burst into flames. So uh, I guess you could say that it was maybe uh, lucky that this bus did not catch fire. So back to my comments here. Uh, somebody said that the uh, the driver did shut the bus off but it was running away. It was sucking in its own oil. Again that is false. If the bus was sucking in its own oil the engine would have ran away and exploded into thousands of pieces. I mean, oh, not, not, not thousands of pieces but uh, there would be a lot more smoke and basically when the oil runs out the engine would seize up but uh, this engine right now it's operating at 1000 rpm it's on fast idle and the engine is not sucking in oil that is just an absurd claim and uh, so pretty much I tell the guy I say hey I want you to explain step by step what happened enlighten me and uh, I explain you know hey if the engine was running backwards wouldn't smoke be coming out of the intake and not the exhaust so Let's see what he says. He says, kids, stop crying. You know nothing about engines. Obviously, not bothering to explain the complicated things to some dumb little kid who, who isn't going to understand what I'm saying. Anyway, it would be like trying to teach my dog how to speak English to go do some research, dumbass. Okay. Well, you can see, uh, at least my spelling and grammar, you know, I use punctuation, I use capital letters, I use sentences, you know. Look at this guy's, his post, everything on here is just a one entire run on sentence. You know, there's no, there's no period, there's no punctuation. So, anyways, I ask him to explain his, his theories, but again, he just comes back with an insult. So, this seems to be pretty popular with YouTube. And he also says, quote, Detroit diesels are known for this problem and because Detroit suck ass. Well, that's pretty scientific there. N not. So, anyways, my point being is when you go and you respond to something on YouTube or anything, you know, you have to present facts. You know, sometimes things don't make any sense at all. So, you, know, you question them, you know. And in this case, that's what we do. We question them, and as you can see, we got a response in our, in our answer. You know, I was there. I talked to the driver. I talked to the driver after he left. You know, I know what happened. I, I was there, you know. So this guy wasn't. Now, when we go and look at his channel, let's take a look here. This guy has four videos of trucks on here. What do we got? Let's take a look. Dodge Ram 2500, Dodge Ram 2500. He's got an RV and a Jersey Shore video. So, and it says here that this guy is 21 years of age. Myself, I'm 23, and he's got 43 subscribers. So, I need to go back and look at his comments. Let's see what they say here. Is your pick your new controller? Nope. Yo, dude, do you realize that? All your friends are hot ass emo girls. Uh, damn troll, spam. No. Anyways, uh, there's nothing really productive in this channel at all, so let's go back to my channel. Go back again. My channel, you know, I actually own, uh, I have quite a few videos on my channel. I own a uh, MC9. I, I uh, you know, I have friends that are trans enthusiasts and friends of the, as well. So let's just take a look at my uh, my channel here. And, you know, Detroit Diesel Series 60, Cold Start videos, you know, Greyhound videos, there's videos of my bus, uh, 
I mean, there's all kinds of all kinds of videos. There's the turbo failure, some Series 60 uh, way station videos. Uh, what else we got here? You know, in my car going over 100,000 miles. More videos of MC9, Saturn. You know, driving a uh, excuse me, a uh, Freightliner Columbia, replacing some spark plugs in my car. So I mean, I have an assortment of videos. But it's just amazing, again, some of these comments and just how absurd they are. So, anyways, I, I just I just had to make a video on this. This is actually my first video, so it's not one of the the. Uh, I mean, it's totally unscripted. It's not one of my my best videos. I mean, this is actually my only one. So, anyways, thank you for watching this and uh, leave your comments at the bottom and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.